This is the clone named Alice. She escaped from the bunker in Livonia where they were doing diabolical experiments. She has the tattoo on the back of her neck to prove it. Her goal is to return to the bunker and blow up the lab there within. She is not the only Alice in the wasteland and she hopes to find other clones along the way. This Daisy series is in no way related to or inspired by the Resident Evil movies. The name Alice is completely coincidental. This series is sponsored by The Umbrella Corporation. This is Alice. See that tattoo on the back of her neck? That means that she has been in the lab. She has come to consciousness here in a field. She has escaped the lab. There was some sort of incident. And this lab is doing experiments on human beings. The lab is the bunker in the lower southwest region of the map. And Alice's life goal is to survive, get food, get water, get gear, get fireworks or something explosive and blow up that lab. She will either achieve her life's goal and dreams or she will die trying. But she knows one thing. She is no longer going to be a lab rat. So I hope you enjoy the series, watching it as much as I'm going to enjoy playing it. This is going to be awesome. So stage one, loot up. You gotta get the basics in order to survive. All right. All right, this is a good start here. The white Converse. Dude, white shoes look so amazing in real life. Oh, gloves are nice too. Dude, she's looking cool, man. I like this survivor already. And a shoddy, let's go. And it's loaded. Oh, Alice is dangerous. Alice is a dangerous gal. Now, that being said, there's no guarantee. This is a public server. There's dudes everywhere. This, I happen to know, is a pretty violent server. She might not even come close to achieving her life's goal of blowing up that lab in vengeance. Movies lead us to believe that every time you have a vendetta, you get to carry it out. However, that's a weirdly placed hatchet. In real life, what do we have here? A freaking scorpion with a suppressor. What are people just leaving on the ground? In real life, most vendettas don't work out too well. But we're going to try to blow that lab up. If not, we're going to have a blast trying. Get it? In the comments, what's your favorite revenge movie? Death Sentence with Kevin Bacon is pretty solid. Um... The greatest of all time. Y'all know what this has to be. My guy, John Wick. John Wick 1. John Wick 2, 3, and 4 are basically one long chase scene. It's like a 9 to 10 hour chase scene. But John Wick 1, now that's got some story to it. I don't think I want to ruin this hatchet. Because we're going to need it. To cut up some food and I hear some food. Speaking of like dropping white t-shirts... We carry the fire. Shirts and hoodies now in the merch store. Check it out. Check it out. I think I'm going to head towards that chicken. I'm going to take the backyards. I should um, gear this up. Oh, I did. Okay, in case someone gets sassy. We see other clones like her with the tattoo on the back of their neck. We'll try to befriend them. Maybe they'll help us along. Maybe you have a survivor who can help us along. They gotta be this same survivor though. It has to be an Alice. Hiking jacket might be better than what I got here. I think it has more pockets. Pretty sure it does. How badly damaged is it? Damaged. Let's take it. Let's check the pockets. 30. I was wrong, but we're going to keep it because it shows off our cool tattoo. Getting 
closer to dinner. Maybe lunch, chicken sandwiches. I don't know if these are any better. But we don't want anyone from the lab to recognize us. It'd be great to meet somebody. I'm alone. I'm lonely already. All right, we got this zombie over here. Old lady in the field. Oh, we got this guy. We got we got possibly a situation there. There's too many. Three of them. Four in the road. I need my blade. If I can pull them out here one at a time. Okay, this is actually a good thing. I always think he's blindfolded, but it's his hat. It's definitely, definitely not keeping his head warm effectively. Top of his dome is all exposed. Oh, I see the chicken. Right, we want to alert Grandma without alerting her grandson over there. She stifled his growth as a human being. She was overbearing. A helicopter grandma and a young man behind her is just a big baby who never grew up. But we'll put an end to this. Oh, and we'll get a backpack. And, um... Is this a grandson? We're gonna say that's a grandson. Who just never grew up. His name was Dilfer. He's dead. Alright, Alice is off to a good start. I'm not sure what city we're in or where the well is. But we got some gloves, so we're not gonna get our ha hands dirty. Um, we got some meat. We gotta cook it, though, which is annoying. We need to find some water. We got some bones, too, so we can craft some hooks and such. We need to find a street sign. Do I have... Oh, I do. I can fix up my clothes. I'm going to fix up this jacket, I think. Because this jacket's pretty good for this stage, for where we're at in our lives right now. I do want to knock out those zombies, because... At this stage, they could have a Nauticola or something... guy right here is um Dilfer's track coach. He gave Dilfer participation ribbons. Wasn't a very good coach. Dilfer wasn't really that fast. He was skinny, but he wasn't fast. He's just weak. Which is why he didn't survive the apocalypse. Ooh, baklava. Do we? Do we? I don't like it. I don't think I like it. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. This is not good. And we're bleeding. Back in the house. In Dilfer's house. Okay. Let's fix our shirt. We're not going to fix our pants because those are crap pants anyway. We do need to get some water though and some food. I'm, I'm feeling too good about where we're at with things here. I need to have a little more urgency. We'll fix the backpack too. That might be with us for a minute. Love the Converse though. Look at them, they got the all-star logo on the back and everything. My dad literally has the exact Converse in real life right now. He still thinks he's Larry Bird. I kind of want to get over and see that street sign, too. I know it's inching right up into the gas zone. What's in that gas zone that they don't want me to find? That they don't want me to know? Is it aliens? The ship has landed? Is it evidence that the Earth is flat? They're hiding something. What is this? Jacket? 
Another shotty. Tell me it's got a round in it. Yes! Dude, we got four rounds. We are a dangerous person. Okay. Let's see if we can punch this one out. Is there one or two right here? Two. Dang it. Three. Nope, nope. Don't want any part of this. Alright. Well, we're tra sort of trapped in here. Let's give it a minute. Not much to say about our inventory. We should start cutting up clothing and getting a rope. Then we get a stick, then we go fishing. I don't know what city I'm in. Need to get to a well. First, I need these zombies to wander. If we get a shot at that lab, it's not going to be for a while. It's going to be a few episodes in. Unless, of course, this is a Daisy film. Which, as I'm recording it, I haven't decided. But that's not for you to know. A blade would be good. A Nauticola in that would be good. Or a Dr. Prepper. They need to add that to the game. They need to do that. That was good. Ah, I didn't have anything. I hate to have a fire for two pieces of chicken, but we might have to do it. Hoodie. We got some rounds right here. Hockey helmet, nah. Surprised we haven't seen any other fresh spawns. So they spawn us all, all fresh spawns in the same area for the for, for this for a few minutes. The fresh spawn locations probably changed, so. 22s, take it. Alright, that is nice. Yeah. Yeah, good to have a blade. Awesome. Ah, he's on to us. Ooh, nice. Sewing kit. And is it Pajka? Is it brisket spread? What are we getting? Brisket spread. right there. Let's get this brisket spread up. Yeah, we should be able to see the sign and figure out where we are. Nines. We have two stacks of nines. Let's stack them. They look about the same quality too. Okay. Careful. We are in Gleniska. All right. Looking on the map. Let's go hide over here. I'm not as familiar with this map as I am the other way, Gleniska. Okay, so that would be the airfield right there. That's a permanent gas zone. All right. Well, Gleniska, let's see where there is a well. Okay. So we want to go away from the gas zone. And hang a left at some point. Oh crap, a lot of zombies. Uh, I guess we'll sneak this way.
Oh, I hear another rooster. If we're gonna cook, we might as well really cook. <laughs> Dang, that was weird. <laughs> Dang, wrecking my jacket. Did we hear another rooster out this way? I do need to get to that well, it's gonna hit red. I think I hear it. Oh good. Yeah. Nice. Alright, cool. Let's get that well and let's get to cooking. And maybe we cook right now, actually. Because that'll give us a little hydration as well. And then we'll get to the well. Only two. Backpack is a nice early find. Let's us just kind of grab everything. Oh, another one. Do we dare? Kill this zombie. Ah. Ah. Oh, rope. Okay. We can get some fishing in. These guys in the white uh, sweatshirts, they were actually the local community college wrestling team of 1978. They never left town. They're not very strong anymore. They stuck together, though. All right, I heard it out here, I think. Check this barn and keep listening. Felt like it was down by where we killed the wrestling team. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get the execution. Nope. This guy's still got his hearing aids turned up. You heard me. Ah, there it is. Dude, three of them. It'd be nice if this one had a bunch of meat, too. That would be awesome. Nice. I'm a dangerous man with some chicken in my pocket. Three. We'll take it. Stack the bones. I think we got a full stack, Bob. Okay. Well, let's use one of these ovens and cook. Let's kill this guy. Yeah, he was the um, recently hired dean of students. Young fella. See, I don't have lat matches or a lighter, so I'm going to have to make a hand drill kit. That's okay. So we need two pieces of bark. There's three zombies over there. I actually should be a little careful. My machete just ruined... We don't need a lot of firewood. Yeah, we really don't. Okay. Yes, chicken will cook fast. And I think one of these is going to have the big stove.
Oh, that guy's aggroed. When they have their elbows up like that, it means they're... Someone's made them upset. It was probably me earlier. Pretty sure. Okay. Let's get to work. Permanent gas zone behind me, so that's good. A little bit of cover, anyway. Hand drill kit. These cool sounds. Let me place this here. This will be our place this. Need some kindling, so we'll use this. Let's attach our... Uh, let's actually light it, because it takes a minute before it starts cooking. It's best to light it first. Okay, let's get our chicken on there. Dude, we're good with chicken. See, this is nice. This makes it worth it, cooking all this. Cool. Who's hungry? If any of you are adults who still order chicken strips or chicken tenders, worse yet, chicken tendies, you need to let me know in the comments right now. Also, men, um, I have a thing with ordering coffee. The only coffee that's acceptable for a man order is black coffee. Anything you add to it takes points off of your man point system, your manly score. Not... If it's like a little half and half, okay, that's just like two or three points. You went from 100% to like 97, 98, but then you do a chore, you pick something up that's heavy, you go, heavy, you go right back to 100. If, however, you have sprinkles or anything blended, you're dropping like 50%. Sorry. And that, you just might not recover. It might take days to recover from that type of drop in manly point loss. Sprinkles, anything pink. You think blended? No, black coffee keeps you at 100%. It can be hot or cold, but it's got to be black. That's my philosophy. Does it taste good? No, I don't care. Went to church last night. Someone's like, I had black iced coffee. And they said something. What was the word they used? Like, is that straight coffee or something like that? I was like, yup. And I felt more manly instantly. Instantly. I'm joking, of course. If you like your frappuccinos, I really don't care. I can't fix a car or do anything manly, so I brag about coffee, because that's what I can do. This is good, getting our hydration up. Let's get that one before it burns. It does count the heat acquired up here in smoking, and when you bring it down to cooking, it keeps it going and speeds it up. So. Get them smoking until you can get them cooking. Keep eating these guys. That one's ready. And the smoked one's ready. And this last one's about to be ready. It's weird that he started making noise right now. We're getting out of here. There might be a dude out there. I doubt it. I think we're okay. Can't really stay in here long because of the the heat's gonna get me from putting that hot. You'll start overheating. Alright, we'll pile them up. Alright, we're starting to get in trouble with our bandages now. Because we don't have a backup plan. So we really need some bandages or some... Something that can disinfect rags. Most of this already. It's 
See, that one's been aggroed. I've been in the area a lot. It was probably me, but... You just never know. Alright, well, we got white food. Let's get to that well. Yeah, if you got any suggestions for Alice, where to find certain things, especially fireworks, would be great to get in that bunker. Got to find a key card. That's going to be really hard to do. Odds are she's going to die before she accomplishes this mission. I never noticed these. I see them on the map. I never drank in from it. I don't think I'm going to start today. Okay, the well. I think the well is over here. I thought that was fireworks. Oh, what did I do? Put that away. Won't put it away. Right, there we go. Go, Alice. Get hydrated. Let's see how that sets in. Someone in that last, in that other shed there. Oh, Bishop is on. Teddy bear. All right, this teddy bear will be her comfort item. I'm gonna name the teddy bear. Should put some stuff in it. Just to not waste space. Okay. What do we name the bear? Zombies right there. Three. Alright, we're gonna have a sleep in this house over here. And the zombies will be our bodyguards. I like this cabin. There's a nice little neighborhood right here. I like it. You go, helmet. Yeah, I like that too. I wonder if that muffles my speech though. Ah, uh, Sporter Mag. Let's hope it was for the Scorpion. Alright, well Alice has had a day. She's escaped the lab, woke up disoriented in a field. Killed a bunch of chickens. She's cold. Belly full of chicken. Hydrated. Converse on. Gonna have a sleep. Will she accomplish her revenge story? We will find out.
I want to take a moment and show you the merch store. Make every day a little bit more fun, get some cool gear. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be caught out in the apocalypse unless I was wearing a We Carry the Fire hoodie, or Daisy Therapy t-shirt, or an oldie mug. The only thing more fun than playing apocalypse games or watching these videos is doing those same activities while wearing the gear. So check out the merch store linked below. I appreciate everything you do, and I'm glad you're a part of this community.